you know, I turned on the news this morning, and um, the first thing I, um, you know, see is these uh, these girls. You know, they're talk. You know, they're beating up some mentally ill woman or something. Once again, recording it to upload it somewhere. Uh, that mother who turned in that video, I want to thank you. That's exactly what you should do. You know, because uh, you know, you shouldn't be held responsible. You know, for for what kids do, and uh. I will go back and uh, read this from Deuteronomy again. I made a video already about troublesome children or whatnot. And, uh, you know, it was from Deuteronomy chapter 21, verses um, uh, 18 through uh, 21. You know, I, I would encourage anybody to watch that video about the, the way children the way children act. And um, it also brings up Deuteronomy chapter 24, uh, verses 14 through 16. Okay, talking about how children, you know, fathers will not be put to death for their children. Children will not be put to death for their fathers or mothers, you know, parents, of course. And uh, every man, every child should be put, uh, every every man should be put to death for his own sin. And so, you know, they might want to try to blame parents for the way the kids acting. Anybody who haven't seen that video, I encourage you see that video. Um, it's entitled, you know, troublesome children, and uh, and uh, I will, uh, you know, I go over these verses in Deuteronomy. Well, I go to Isaiah today, and it just brings me back to that about what happened to that woman. And good, I'm glad those girls got locked up. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 3, verse 11 and 12. Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hand shall be given him. All right, there's plenty of wickedness around here. Um, and it says, as for my people, children are their oppressors. Are not children oppressing people? Okay, they are tools of judgment, unfortunately. But you know, we did it to ourselves. Ourselves. I'm not taking myself out of the equation. You know, wasn't always a good boy. And um, you know, children will, you know, they'll rape you, they kill you. Some of them, okay. Um, you know, they've grown up without the way it used to be. They don't have a reference of back in the day. You know. And now that a lot of, uh, you know, tenets of faith have been taken mostly, you know, mainly out of mainstream society, okay, and, uh, you know, because, you know, the whole separation of church and state, well, the state has definitely separated the church now, all right? And so all kids have is this one example of anything goes. Um, I have a video about that also that I just recorded yesterday when I... Uh, read from a, a you know it's called welcome to your future um but uh it says here this is isaiah chapter 3 this is verse 12 as for my people children are their oppressors and women rule over them O my people they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy past okay now i would encourage people to you know Read these verses, this this particular verse, 11 and 12, in Isaiah chapter 3, and watch that video, um, um, what is it, um, you know, welcome to your future, and you'll see how that plays out. See, the whole women rule over them. Well, you see how the tables have turned now, and but it, 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 the order is all messed up, because the more and more women in there are in the workplace, you know, and I'm not saying I'm against it. But look what it does. It takes away from that family unit, that extra bond versus a woman who's able to stay home, who's able to. I mean, the relationship between men and women is just so strained because we are, you know, a lot of things get based off of what movie or, you know, the latest magazine or what columnist says what or whatever. And, uh, you know, we forget that. So, yeah, things are out of order. You know, and it's almost like men and women are having trouble even being with each other, coexisting, you know, but there it is right there. Children are their oppressors, and women rule over them, and they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy path. That's because it's out of order, because we're supposed to be the leaders, men. That's just that. Also, um, for those children who did that, and all the others who think it's funny, and children who do these things, and anybody else, what's happening? Again, I will go to Matthew chapter 24. And he said, 
Tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming in the end of the world. Okay. And I'll just go down to verse 12. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But then right after that said, but he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. You know. So, that's just that. What more can I say? <laughs>